Hey there folks, Mark Johnson from Tech Snobs. Brand new Galaxy Tab 3. Is this 7 inch tablet for you? We're going to find out before I'm back to come over. Okay, so here's the Galaxy Tab 3. Um, one of the bigger uh, releases last year was the 7 inch model that came out. So this is the follow up to that uh, 7 inch. Um, let's see what we got on the back as far as spec. So 1024 600, still the same resolution. The dual core processor is kicked up a little bit to 1.2. Uh, 1080p playback, 3 megapixel camera, 1.3 on the front, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and it's got Android. So uh, I, I don't know what version. I don't know if it's got 4.12 or if it's got um, the latest 4.22. So let's go ahead and get this cracking. I definitely like the first one a lot. Um, that one, I, I believe it retailed for around 249 when it was released about a year ago. Uh, this one comes in at one ninety nine, and this is the bronze color too. They're, I believe it's the technical term. I think it's like bronze gold or something like that. I have to look it up, but nonetheless, here's the tablet. And get this out, set it to the side, see if anything new comes in these boxes. Recycled packaging, as Samsung's been doing, definitely a different style how they pack this one. So let's see what we got inside. So we got your typical micro USB. You got your power plug. Just normal. They pretty much kept that standard. I don't see any headphones. They looks like a slot where you could put them in here, but there's definitely none there. And then you got some recycled packaging, um, health and safety. Oh, it looks like it has some kind of owning has its rewards. So there's some perks you can get now by buying a Galaxy Tab, register, tells you what to do to sign up for a Google account. So they're definitely trying to, they're making things more user friendly, um, which is a good thing. Can never hate on that. Here's your little quick start guide. And I, you know, I can't hate on those because those are always nice to have. So here's the tab itself. Let's go ahead and take that off. Let's get it powered up. While it's powering up, there we go, it's the Galaxy Tab 3. Let's get the back. I actually like this colorway. I mean, I've been, you know, we've pretty much been seeing blue. We've been seeing, uh, we've seen black. We've seen white a lot. So now it's like they're, they're switching up. They got a new colorway. So I definitely like what they've done here with this colorway. I definitely like, you know, the style. It's kind of hard to show on camera. It, it, you know, but it is definitely looks like it's kind of more black on the back, and then as you see on the trim, it is the bronze color, so it's definitely um, very nice. So on the bottom, you have your micro USB port microphone. You got your speaker grill down here. On the right side of it, you have the infrared port. You got your volume rocker, your power button up top, three and a half millimeter jack. It looks like you got your SIM card, typical micro sim on this side so the little tray that pulls off more plastic there so that's that and then you got your camera on the back so here is the galaxy tab now real quick before we jump into seeing what software so let's compare it to some other tablets over the past year so here it is compared to the the nexus 7 um, A little bit, definitely, you could definitely see a difference a year makes because this is definitely much, is considerably smaller than the Nexus 7, um, which it should be. You know, the Nexus 7 came out about a year ago. So that's a good job there in that comparison. Let's go ahead and compare it to the, the iPad Mini. Um, here's the iPad Mini. It's definitely smaller than that. iPad Mini still thinner. But it's you know it's definitely the iPad Mini's wider and longer and just overall just a bigger a bigger device so definitely keep that in mind. And then if you know if you're coming from a bigger iPad, just <laughs> to give you an idea of how big that is, you know, coming from that so extreme size difference there. And while we're at it, you know, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull. I have a Note 2 sitting over here because if you have the Note 2, it's kind of like where does this seven inch tablet fit in? And as you can see, 
the Note 2 is very similar in size in a lot of ways. I mean, it's 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 a good portion of it. It's a 5.5 inch versus a 7 on the Tab 3, which is, you know, that gives you another inch and a half of real estate. But I do like the form factor. I mean, I do like, um, you know, the form factor of this Tab. And so let's just go ahead and get in. Let's see if we can skip all this stuff. Agree. Skip that. And no, no. Uh, you also get 50 gigs of Dropbox storage. That's always a good thing. Okay, so here we are. So we're in. Does have Touch Wiz? Let's go ahead and check out the version of Android that's on here. Okay, so this one does have uh, 4.12. Um, so definitely keep that, uh, you know, in mind. I mean, as far I'm sure to get updates to 4.22, but. That's that, and let's look at the apps, see what we have on here. Standard run-of-the-mill apps. Don't really see anything that really catches my eye out of the norm. Of course, you got your Samsung stuff, you got your S-Voice, uh, a screensaver and a world clock, and then, of course, you got the watch on app to control your TV and so forth. So pretty minimal there. And then last but not least, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check to you how much storage is available because they've definitely... Um, had that be an issue. So 5.24 gigs of space uh, total, and you have five gigs available. So that's actually really light. So it's very good that they. It's eight, this is an eight gig model. So it's very good that they didn't really bog it down with a you know a whole slew of software. So definitely really nice on that. Be sure to check out the site tech-knobs.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I'm going to be doing more coverage. Uh, with this bronze uh, Galaxy Tab 3. And a full review will be up soon. So thanks for watching, folks.